Eva, good morning. Good morning, Ricky, and good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, and here's a quick look at your headline news. All righty. First up is a coronavirus update. Worldwide, the number of coronavirus cases and infection has now hit over 1 million, and more than 48,000 lives have been lost. The U.S. has more cases than any other nation in the world at about 234,000. The highest death toll still remains in Italy. Now, updated unemployment numbers came out just yesterday. Nearly 10 million people have lost their jobs within the last two weeks. We definitely need to pray for them. And if you're wondering when you might receive those coronavirus stimulus checks we've been talking about, well, payments are supposed to start going out as early as April the 13th. But the IRS is saying that it could take up to four to five months for some people to get their checks. So just know that and hold on. Also, the FBI is warning for all those people that are working at home, there is a privacy issue that is being under investigation right now for everyone using this app called Zoom. Now, Zoom is a video conferencing app where you can call and use that service, and officials say that some calls are being interrupted by unknown people. They're sharing graphic images as well as hateful language and speech. Mm. So watch out if y'all on Zoom today doing your conference calls and working from home. And last, tomorrow marks the 52nd year since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination. The Civil Rights Museum will do a virtual com- celebration for him tomorrow at mm. 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 5 p.m. Central Commemorative. Time. A commemorative celebration. It's going to be amazing. Is. All right, then. Come through Clark Atlanta okay. well, University. If you, <laughs> if you want to go and uh, log on and see this commemorative <laughs> celebration, log on yeah. to civilrightsmuseum.org. All righty. That was a quick look at your front page news. For more on what's trending, log on to the rickysmileymorningshow.com.